Okay, so the next step was to uh, basically fill the interior, um, not completely full of cement, uh, but this is, this is obviously the next step. I haven't done it yet, but uh, from my understanding, you're supposed to put um, two or three inches around of cement around the inside of the, uh, of the tank, and, uh, and then so you'll leave an empty hole in the middle for, uh, for your crucible um, and your aluminum. Um, and what I did to, to, to do that was I just, I just took some sheet metal uh, right here, um, really thin stuff, and uh, basically I just uh, went ahead and uh, tried to tack weld it. I don't know if you can see, but this stuff, the, the welder went right through it. I don't know if it's... There's a hole, just holes everywhere, but I mean, it still kind of tack welded it together, which was perfect uh, for me. And of course, it's not perfect diameter, uh, but it'll, it'll work uh, for what we're doing uh, because the two or three inches doesn't have to be exact two or three inches all the way around. Obviously, you want, uh, want it to be as close as possible, uh, but essentially all you do, you stick that down in there, down in the middle, and then... Um, and then you, you put the cement uh, right in here. Let me try and give you a better look. Let me move the camera real quick. Let's see. There you go. Um, kind of hard to tell, but basically um, they'll be about two or three inches around the entire um, outside of the inner uh, diameter um, and that's to protect from heat and, and everything and then the next thing that I did was uh, I had to I, 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 got, I, have, I still have to create a uh, real burner um, and this pipe right here I believe it's I believe it's three quarter inch um, and uh, it's about a foot long and basically what I did was I ended up cutting a hole. Let me turn this around for you. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I have to fix the camera up. Basically that hole, I cut it with uh, just a... Um, well, I can't think of the name of it for some reason right now. I'm drawing a blank. Um, but uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, anyway, I cut that hole to the diameter of that pipe uh, right over there. And uh, then, of course, I cut the, the sheet metal as well. Um, and then I just, you, basically the idea is to um, stick the... Uh, that uh, metal pipe all the way through before you put the um, the cement in, um, and the, obviously uh, the reason for that is so that the propane, the the, the flame, the torch can um, uh, can get to the crucible and heat up the interior. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, I know. And anyway, okay, so this is basically how it's going to work. Obviously, put the metal pipe uh, through the hole uh, of the propane tank and then the hole through the sheet metal. Um, and, but I still have to weld this all the way around uh, to hold it in place um, and uh, make sure there's no cement or gas leak coming out of it. Um, that's, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten on this project. It only took me a few hours to do all this. Um, more experienced people will probably be even quicker. Um, but let me show you. Uh, let me show you the tools that I've used uh, to do this. It's not. It's not that many. The first thing is the, uh, or one of the the major tools that you'll probably need is a welder. This is my welder. It's just a, the simple Chicago electric one, the 90 amp from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $110. Um, 
So it, pretty much anybody should be able to get that. Um, then I bought that uh, welding, welder's uh, helmet that uh, I think it was another 50 or $60. It's actually a really good one in my opinion. There's probably better out there. It's an auto darkening one. Uh, of course, the welder itself came with that one, <laughs> that helmet, uh, if you can call it a helmet. Um, it has a little uh, handheld uh, device, I guess, whatever you want to call it, that you can just hold up while you're we welding in front of your face. So you've got to hold it with one hand and weld with the other hand. Uh, for me, it's easy, easier for me if I, uh, if I use both hands while I'm, I'm welding for steadiness. And uh, let's see here. That's that's about it. Uh, again, I used I used my diamond blade, um, but uh, I guess I, I can show you that at a later time. It's really not that big a deal. Uh, it's just a diamond blade that anybody can pick up at any time. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.